all right my people welcome back on to this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors and we say a big amen to that well still on the matter as well the truth of the matter has been that there's been jubilations since on monday that chief sunday Iboho had been released from benin detention and then on to this one reaching us right now sunday Iboho speaks after release from detention hmm. i know a lot of people would want to know what he has said so far all right my people the news in details well onto this the yoruba activist sunday adeya moha also known as sunday Iboho, has warned against another world war Onto this, he spoke in our first video, which surfaced after he was released on Monday by the government of Republic of Benin after about 231 days in detention. In the video, the embattled Yoruba activist was cited discussing the ongoing war between Ukraine and uh, Russia. He said, let's hope that this Ukraine crisis won't lead to a third world war. May God not let us witness war in this world. Igbo who was arrested in Benin's capital, Kotonou, on accusations of criminal association in July. 2nd 2021 was released on monday to attend to his health well according to his lawyer the panel of odudua republic will not be allowed back to nigeria until the completion of his case all right my people and then assistance majority of people have actually reacted though on to this one all right and someone is saying that hmm thank god you sunday boho knows that hmm, war should not happen well we are not praying for that hmm. and if someone is saying face what you are fighting for in nigeria and they forget about ukraine <laughs> oh well and good no case sunday Bo is smarter than canon e is more far better than can well a lot of comments keep coming in right now onto this one well the fact now remains that hmm, everybody needs to wake up because even as far as the country is concerned right now hmm, there is no war but what we are facing right now is more than war hunger everywhere a b everywhere you can imagine well someone says does your smart or your smartness you no know, add to what is going on in the country where well, i don't understand what that person meant by that all right well okay let's take this according to isaac k george he says well Igboho, you have very conversant to what is going on in the world i really appreciate your sense of humor we don't want and then we don't pray for third world war i am optimistic that there will be no third world war once again, Igboho Osha, you are very welcome. Bako Kabo. All right, and that had been said by Isaac K. George. Onto that one. Hmm, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hmm, Chief Sunday, Bo, I am happy for you. Okay, this one has been said by Pastor Habe. Adeni. Well, this one reminds me of all the agitators who had been talking about Chief Sunday who has been talking about all the agitators who have been saying, oh, we want to release Chief Sunday Boho, and they yet they did nothing. And then this now takes me back to Pastor Ban Kole. <laughs> and a lot of people be like, ah, which one is Pilado World? Bring it back. Well, I just try to remember since one pastor I just commended him right now. Fine. Well, the truth of the matter has been that in anything you do in life, you should try as much as possible to do good hmm. so that good things will continue to follow you. All right, oh, hmm. Femi Henry Ajigola Moses, well, hmm. I was replying to Ademola Spade. Hmm. All right, according to what had been earlier said, hmm. Ad Ademola Spade has said that you are Momo, what are they saying? What you are saying? Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. I think he was trying to refer to what. Femi Henry has said, um, he said he should now embrace Christ and then do away with all those juju he believed in. Okay, and the uh, Ademola Spade now replied that you are Mumu, 
what are they saying what are you saying Kolu. <laughs> okay and then femi Henry had, had actually replied back saying hmm, replying to ademola space well the juju couldn't save him from the snare of quote unknown security officers okay hmm, that has been that well jida muson has also replied to ademola space that well the man knows what he is saying it is you who don't understand hmm all right my people and uh, you know we always have a lot of mixed reactions in topics like this that's why we try to read different comments to know what other people are talking about our particular topic yes all no comments are welcomed though well according to felix web lobos he said well is Igboho to speak about the world the war the war so to say between ukraine and then russia or oh, is he supposed to speak about the Yoruba nation? Let him not deviate from the main issue. The war in Ukraine does not concern him. We expect him to continue speaking about the Odua nation agitation because as it starts right now, we are tired of Nigeria. All right, my people, this one has been said by Falomon Olukola. All right, my people, and then somebody is like, hmm, you let's say this man, he the mad he the mad gunny. Why you get the talk? Say make you Sunday, but what we just they come out make see they talk about the dual nation. That means if now your brother say you go allow that kind of thing to happen. All right, my people. This one is another strong one, and then that's exactly what it is. This time around, you Sunday, but so come. If you watch the last you know, video, hmm, you will be surprised. You no, know, the way he was looking, I don't know what actually happened in that detention. But one thing we have seen so far had been that you Sunday, but who knows what he's doing is very matured more than the way it had been but even at that the people are still talking about no going back on odudua nation agitation well my people our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to protect us all because as it stands right now hmm, it's like omar for himself with time but we are not praying for that to happen well everybody needs to come together in one accord hmm, in one addendum to do the needful to do the right thing if because as it stands right now even in the country you will notice that some set of people had even gathered themselves because of the poverty level in the country to be kidnapping now we now have a lot of people in groups trying to make money for themselves by fire by force simply because of what the country they call it location 419 had done to them this is serious well this time around everybody needs to wake up that's why no in your area in your environment you will notice that a lot of people are trying Trying any kind of rigorous means to make money hmm, simply because of what is going on. Hmm, Baba God, now your hand will do. All right, my people, and then that is what it is right now. On to this one. What more can we say? Me, well, let me have your take on this, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. All right, thanks and God bless.